SpaceX has been advancing the development of Starship, the largest ultra super heavy reusable launch system ever designed in history at a jaw dropping pace and Musk is comfortable it will reach orbit sometime next year. Today in this video we are talking about SpaceX's first orbital flight in January. But before that we welcome you to our YouTube channel, we post daily updates from the world of space. Musk is aiming for SpaceX to complete work on the launch pad and launch tower at Starbase, the company's sprawling facility in Boca Chica, Texas later this month with the first orbital launch set for January 2022. That would be followed by possibly a dozen additional launches, possibly more throughout the rest of 2022, Musk said. That doesn't mean Starship will reach orbit in January however, as Musk was careful to note there's a lot of risk associated with the first launch he said. So I would not say that it is likely to be successful but I think we will make a lot of progress. The other major barrier to a January launch is regulatory approval. SpaceX's launch activities at Starbase are currently undergoing an environmental assessment with the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA said earlier this week that it would wrap up the review by December 31st. So if all goes according to Musk's plans, a January launch is the earliest possible date. Musk also estimated it could start selling Starship launches at prices cheaper than the Falcon 9 in around two years which are even earlier than the timeline part of SpaceX's proposal for NASA's human landing system. It's hard to overstate the scale of Starship, which includes the Starship spacecraft and super heavy rocket, compared to all other launch systems in history. Fully assembled, it stands 394 feet tall. By comparison, NASA's in-development space launch system and Orion spacecraft is 322 feet fully stacked. Starship could have the capacity to repeatedly launch more than 100 tons into orbit and function as what Musk describes as a generalized transport mechanism for the greater solar system. SpaceX has achieved another major milestone in its Starship fully reusable launch system. It stacked the Starship spacecraft itself on top of a prototype of its super heavy booster, which itself is loaded up with a full complement of 29 Raptor rocket engines. And the Starship on top has six itself. The stacked spacecraft now represents the tallest assembled rocket ever developed. This stacking, which happened at SpaceX's development site in South Texas, is a significant development because it's the first time two elements of the full Starship have been united as one. This is the configuration that will be used for launching the next Starship prototype on its test mission that will hopefully achieve orbit. Taken together, the massive combined launch system reaches nearly 400 feet tall and combined with the orbital launch stand on which it rests, the whole thing is about 475 feet tall, which is taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. The stacking itself is very impressive, but don't expect it to last. The likely next step is for the two halves of the launch system to be separated again, with both undergoing more work, analysis and testing ahead of a reassembly in preparation for the actual eventual orbital launch test. As for when the orbital launch test will actually take place, it's not currently clear. The disassembly, testing and reassembly will take some time, but the company is definitely still aiming to make that happen before the end of the year. But Musk isn't aiming to build one or two or even ten starships. Instead, he estimates during the talk that humanity may need around 1,000 launch systems to make life truly multiplanetary, and SpaceX has built a factory to mass manufacture them, or as close to mass manufacturing as you could get. And the company has been moving fast on its development. Back in May, SpaceX flew the 15th prototype of Starship and the launch vehicle reached around 30,000 feet with a successful upright landing. It was the first time a test concluded with the launch vehicle intact. SpaceX flew the 15th prototype of its Starship fully reusable next generation rocket with a test flight that included a successful climb to around 30,000 feet as well as a controlled flip, descent and soft landing upright as planned. A very small fire appeared to break out at the base of the rocket shortly after landing but it was contained. The craft was powered by three Raptor rocket engines which shut down in sequence prior to the vehicle reaching apogee, its highest point around 10 kilometers. This is a big milestone for SpaceX which has flown prototypes before but which hasn't yet seen a test concluded with the test vehicle intact. Prototypes SN8 and SN9 were destroyed while trying to land while SN10 exploded shortly after landing. 
Its last test launch, SN-11, ended in an explosion and total loss of the rocket just before touchdown. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk confirmed the good touchdown of the 150-foot SN-15 just after the launch livestream concluded. This is a key step in development of the Starship's orbital capabilities, which will require the vehicle to perform this landing maneuver after it's launched to space atop a super-heavy rocket booster and makes the return trip from orbit. SN-15 also features a number of vehicle improvements across structures, avionics and software that includes engines that will allow more speed and efficiency throughout production and flight. Specifically, a new enhanced avionics suite, updated propellant architecture in the aft skirt, and a new Raptor engine design and configuration, SpaceX said on its website. SpaceX aims to use Starship for future lunar and Mars launches and landings. The Federal Aviation Administration last week gave authorization to SpaceX to conduct its next three test flights of its Starship program, including Wednesday's flight. The next two will be the flights of SN-16 and SN-17 Starships. The overarching goal of SpaceX has been to advance space technology such that humans can become a multi-planetary species and ultimately a spacefaring civilization and to make true the things that we read about in science fiction and have them not always be fiction, he told National Academy's members. I think it's very important for the long-term preservation of the light of consciousness. The company is targeting January or February for its first Starship orbital launch attempt, Elon Musk said on Wednesday, and that initial landmark leap will ideally be followed by a number of others shortly thereafter. We intend to, hopefully, do a dozen Starship launches next year, Musk said during a live-streamed presentation at the Joint Four meeting of the Space Studies Board and Board on Physics and Astronomy, both of which are part of the US National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine. Starship consists of two elements, both of which are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. A huge first stage booster, known as Super Heavy, and a 165 foot tall spacecraft called Starship. Both are powered by SpaceX's next generation Raptor engine. Six in the case of Starship and 29 for Super Heavy. At the moment at least, the booster will eventually sport 33 Raptors, Musk said. SpaceX is developing this ambitious transportation system to get people and payloads to the Moon, Mars and other distant destinations. Ultimately, Starship is designed to be a generalized transport mechanism for the greater solar system, Musk added. SpaceX has launched a handful of test flights with Starship prototypes from its Starbase facility, which is near the South Texas village of Boca Chica. But those hops reached the maximum altitude of about 6 miles and featured vehicles with just three engines. The upcoming orbital test flight will involve a Starship prototype called SN-20, which has the full complement of six Raptors and a 29-engine Super Heavy known as Booster 4. The duo will lift off from Starbase. Booster 4 will splash down shortly after liftoff in the Gulf of Mexico, but SN-20 will make one loop around Earth and come down in the Pacific Ocean near the Hawaiian island of Kauai. SpaceX could not launch the mission right now, even if it wanted to, because the US Federal Aviation Administration is conducting an environmental assessment of the orbital launch activities at Starbase. That review is expected to wrap up by December 31st. FAA officials announced recently, and SpaceX intends to get off the ground not long after. But we shouldn't expect a picture-perfect flight, Musk said. There's a lot of risk associated with this first launch, he added. So I would not say that it is likely to be successful, but I think we'll make a lot of progress. That envisioned progress will lead to roughly a dozen launches over the course of the year, which should prove out the Starship system enough for it to begin operational missions in 2023. Over the long haul, SpaceX intends to use Starship to help colonize Mars, thereby making humanity a multi-planetary species, a long-held and often stated ambition of Musk's. Starship could even help humanity planet hop from Mars to the dwarf planet Ceres, the largest object in the asteroid belt, to the moons of Jupiter, as long as we set up some propellant depots along the way, Musk said. And in this grander vision, it wouldn't just be a few Starship craft making such journeys. With this, we conclude today's video. Let us know your thoughts on this. We would love to hear from you. Subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.